All right, here we have a bottle, a manipulative, something to make your class interesting, something you only have to make once in your lifetime. Look, this has a metal cap. Some of you have never seen pop bottles, if you're from the Midwest, if you're from uh, the South, uh, near, Alabama, uh, near uh, Atlanta, it's a Coke bottle. <laughs> it happens to be Pepsi, sorry, if you're from Atlanta. If you're from out East, it's a soda bottle. But the point is, it's got a metal cap. This is 25 years old. It's got a black thing on the bottom. All right, this, it's fallen off, the glue's dried out. This is old. So I put this out when I talk about density, because you know, density is a really fascinating subject to most kids, especially doing those calculations. But these two liquids have different densities. And it's a twofer. You can use it again later in the year when you talk about miscible and immiscible. You can talk about it when you talk about polar bonding, nonpolar bonding, hydrogen bonding. Uh, the liquid in the top, and I'm, I'm going back 25 years, I'm trying to think about what this was. This was pre before computers. I believe this is isopropyl alcohol, but you know, I'm going to give you some details. Isopropyl with some water and some blue food coloring. All these have some are polar molecules, and so they have an affinity for each other, so they all stay here. This is nonpolar. I think it's cyclohexane, okay? 25 years if it's a day. The nice thing about this is, oh, back 15 years ago, they used to sell these wave things for like 40 or 50 bucks. Remember, this could mesmerize you. A kid, if you gave some kid that, was a, that might be like to talk a lot one of these, he's gonna, all period, he, you're safe, it's good. <laughs> You may not have learned anything, but hey, what the heck? Um, he's quiet. And if our camera guy can get the interface, something scummy has grown on the interface between the two. It's kind of a brownish crud. I don't know, exactly know what that. Maybe the cap's rusting away. I don't know. I glued it shut to make sure nobody would open it. I leave this out for a couple of weeks. And you can shake the snot out of it, and it'll still come back, OK? It'll come back and it'll clear up. Right now it's said to be turbid, that's a word, that's a scientific real word, but it'll, it'll clear out. A couple weeks you put that away, don't show them and bring out this one. And see if they make a comment. And then you see if you really, this is like authentic assessment, because if they go, what happened? And you go, I turned it upside down. And if they go away, okay. <laughs> then you know you have not reached those kids, all right? Let them figure it out. They may notice the top, this one's really taped because I made this one with chemical that was not dangerous when I was using it, but now it's banned. TTE in here, and there's some uh, food coloring and some uh, alcohol, some other things. But I'm going to tell you how to make it without the TTE, trichloro, trifluoroethane. This one, the waves are a little bit funkier. It's not as good. But again, you can shake the snot out of it, and it will separate again. Miscible, immiscible, polar, nonpolar, density, blah, blah, blah. Never tell them. And if you want to, you can switch it in the middle of the period when they get their attention. Just drive them insane. That's good. Now, uh, this is for real, too. This has got to be 20 years old, too. There's a store in Chicago that sells magic stuff for your house. Uh, a medic, uh, Things like this, they, they sell, this is called lawyer go away. And it's two layers and it's true. I'm gonna put it down here so he can focus because I'm probably driving the camera person insane. Does, does the law show up? You're supposed to sprinkle this on your floor and the lawyers will not bother your house. This is true, I did not make the label up. They have ones for your wife go away, your girlfriend go away, um, you know, all kinds of things at this place. It's magic hexes and things. It's a little, all it is to me is the same thing I've gotten there. It's probably some kind of cooking oil, alcohol, water, and food coloring, but they, they charge four bucks for it or five bucks. Here's how you make your own. Flint has a kit. They give you a bottle like this. That's kind of nice. And then I got to make sure this is one clear lamp oil. I don't really think it matters which one you put in because they're not miscible. So this is clear lamp oil that you might use, you're going to say, why would I do that? Why would I put that in my lamp? No, it's for an oil burning lamp, folks. Most of you don't have those in your houses anymore. There you go. You can save electricity, but then you'll be using this clear oil. So that's nonpolar. And this is uh, blue food dye mm -hmm. solution. Probably water, so the blue food dye in the water are miscible, but it is not miscible with the 
lamp oil. It's more dense, this mixture of whatever it is, probably some water, alcohol, and blue food coloring. Okay, and this is nice. And again, what I would do is I would seal up the bottle so you never have to, you know, you don't want some kid opening it and drop. That's a bad thing. Seal it, duct tape it, and all that stuff. Well, that's cool. It almost looks purple in the bottom. All right, that's nice. Let's shake the snot out of it and see what happens. It may take a while to settle out, but there's nothing wrong with that. Oh, look at that. That's nice. So here's the other one. And these bottles look like you can't break them. That's a good thing, too. I don't know. What should we put in first? We've got lamp oil. This time the lamp oil is blue. Well, that's cool. So we must have a dye that is now uh, nonpolar because the lamp oil is essentially nonpolar. Where in the other one, the lamp oil is nonpolar, but the dye is probably polar. So there's not going to be much affinity for the dye in the lamp oil. Here there is, because the two are in each other. Let's see if we can extract some of that dye with this second magic fluid. Not that one, not that one. Do we have another? Oh, right here. It's water. How do I know I'm going to drink it? No, I don't think so. You could do that, but only once. If it is water, you can do it more than once, but if you're wrong, that's not a good thing. So try not to drink in the lab. That's, that's not good technique. I've seen people reach for their cup of Coke, and it was really a pop bottle with, like, something else in it, and take a swig. Not a good thing. Not a, whatever you do, don't drink out of beakers. It may look cool to you, but you pick up the wrong one one day, and they're going to need a, year, a sub for the rest of the year. That's not a good one. All right. Look at that. It's inverted. And we could try to shake the snot out of this one. And it seems to separate even faster than the other one. That's nice. You're going to get something, some interface problems, but that's kind of nice. And again, you can do the same thing that I've done with mine here for the last 30 years. Okay? So two uses. One, density. And two, bonding. Polar, nonpolar, likes, dissolving likes, etc. Okay? Thank you.